In 2012, uh, President Obama uh, implemented the DACA program, uh, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which allowed hundreds of uh, thousands of young people to um, get relief from deportation. And DACA offered undocumented youth the opportunity to be able to you know, work legally, complete their, their education, as well as support their families. So in September uh, 2017, when 45 rescinded uh, the DACA program, what he did is actually made us all targets. Uh, it made us all priority for deportation. As an undocumented person of color, there's always a fear. Fear of police or ICE. Fear of being targeted or being surveilled. It's only a matter of time before they incarcerate me. But that's, that's been all my life. I'm tired of that. ICE was formed in 2003 to enforce border control, customs, and immigration. In this new Trump era, any contact with law enforcement could mean being deported or placed in an immigration detention center. We can either sit back and say, you know what, eventually these politicians are gonna change their minds, they're gonna see the truth and the reality. No, instead of normalizing police violence, we need to normalize community action. Part of what we're doing today is really preparing people to take action, mobilize their community against raids because we know they're coming. Who is it? ICE. I'm looking for Isaac Barrera. Open the door now. I have a warrant for your arrest. You know what? I know my rights. Yeah, you have the right to open the door right now. You have a warrant? I have a warrant. Let me see With it. your name on it. Our community members need to know what actions to take if they see a raid, if they hear about a raid. Let me see the warrant. Sliding it under the door. Sign it and come out. I'm gonna start recording. Mr. Barrera. Okay. I'm gonna start Does recording. Does your mom still live okay, in I'm Echo Park? Here. I'm not gonna Off open of the door. Sunset okay. and Coronado. Mr. Barrera. I do not feel safe. I am pulling out my gun. Open the door. Mr. Barrera, please come out. Oh, oh, what's going on here? No, 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 you cannot do that. You cannot do that. We want to make sure there's a picture and that we can mobilize some kind of uh, legal observer organizer to verify if the raid was conducted. And who are you, excuse me? What agency are you in? I know, I'm not going to answer any questions. Guys, I need some backup. There's some, there's some illegal gang members here. There's a lot of rowdy Mexicans. I don't need to give you any of that. What's your name? Were you born in this country? Are you working for ICE? I don't have to disclose any of that information. Are you working for ICE? I think about all the times that people have told me and the Immigrant Youth Coalition that, you know, you can't stop this deportation. You're not strong enough, you're not powerful enough, but we need to win this fight. When the time comes, I need to put myself on the line. My fear is not going to stop me. Today we're taking action out in the streets. We're saying we don't want no attacks in the communities. So when we placed these jail beds to block the intersection, uh, what we did is we symbolized and showed people what is an immigrant's worst case scenario, like where we're gonna sleep before we get deported.
derecha? Sí, yo me arriesgo a ser deportado. Because our rally had so much support from the community and attention from the media, the police caved into our demands. Only one of us was formally booked into their system and the rest of us were let go. It shows that the police are free to choose whether they book undocumented immigrants into a system that Immigration Customs Enforcement has access to. While they're continuing to push the 45th agenda of more police violence, more jails, more cages, we are gonna fight it. And I think the fight itself is going to be a victory.